today I'll be showing a demo of the Power BI report templates that we have built at 2W Technologies to analyze data out of the Epicor ERP system. So first, a brief introduction about us. 2W Tech is a technology service provider specializing in solutions for the manufacturing industry. We're both an Epicor Gold Partner and a Microsoft Gold Partner, and we offer Epicor services, managed services, cloud solutions, IT infrastructure, and security solutions. We've built a few template reports in Microsoft Power BI that use the Epicor SQL database as the data source. We believe these reports contain metrics that a typical manufacturer using Epicor would monitor. There are hundreds of database tables in a typical Epicor database, so by using these templates, you're able to skip the process of searching for the right tables and developing the data model, and instead you can get right into analyzing the data. These templates can also be used as a starting point for further customizations or additional development of metrics that are important to your business. So the four template reports that we've developed are the executive summary, materials review, production review, and sales review. And these reports are available uh, over the web in the Power BI service, which is uh, through, Microsoft, or, uh, through Office 365. If you have a Power BI license assigned, all you need to do is log into the service using your Office 365 credentials, and then you can view any reports that you've been provided access to. So I'm logged into our Office 365 Power BI service, and you can see these are the four report templates that I have available. This is our sales review Power BI template. Uh, this template focuses on sales orders and quotes out of Epicor. So the first tab here, the sales analysis tab, provides a summary view of all of the orders and the dollar amounts in a selected time frame. So across the top, you can see your total sales and your total sales orders. Uh, below that, you can see some of the trending information. So you can see both a month over month and a year over year trend of sales dollars. Uh, below that, you can see who your top customers are uh, in terms of total sales amount. And then you can see how your sales break down into different customer territories. Now these ch uh, charts all are fully interactive and are tied together. Uh, so if I make a selection in one chart, you can see how it will update the rest of the charts. For example, if I wanna check out this top customer we have here, I can simply click on the bar and you can see all of my charts have now updated and now I'm looking at just the trends and just the territory, just the sales for this particular customer and then I can click off their name to get back to the default view. Uh, I can also drill down in charts. So for example, in this donut chart here, uh, I can drill down into a specific territory and see the breakdown of all of the different sales reps. So by, uh, to do that, I can just click on the segment here and click drill down. And now I can see the breakdown and who the top sales reps are in that territory. Again, you can see by making that selection, it drilled down into all the rest of the charts, and now all of these charts are focused on just uh, sales for the US Midwest territory. So I can drill back out of that. The other option that we give in terms of selections is picking a particular date range. Uh, so for example, maybe I wanna only focus on 2020 data. So in this uh, ship date selector, I can just search for beginning of 2020, and now you can see again, all my charts updated and now I'm looking at just the 2020 data. So in addition to the charts um, and filters that you have on the screen here, there's also this filters panel with commonly used filters. Uh, so for example, if I wanna look at just a particular state, I can drop down that filter and I can search for a particular state, select that, and now you can see I'm fully, or uh, continuing to kind of drill down and slice and dice into this data. And now I'm looking at just Wisconsin data uh, for 2020. So the great thing uh, about making these selections is that they persist between tabs. So if I wanna get from sort of a summary view into a more detailed view, I can jump over to this order details tab and you'll see my ship date has remained the same and my state selection has remained the same. And now I'm looking at all of the individual orders that meet that criteria. Uh, so I can see the order number, line release, I can see some information about the order, like the part, who the sales rep was, the total sales, their customer group, et cetera. Uh, so you can get all the way down to the individual detailed information. From here, I can actually export this data to Excel. So I can click on these three ellipses and I can choose export data. And now I have options to export either to a .xlsx file 
for to adopt CSV. To get back to the full selection, uh, I can just click on this reset filters, and now I get back to the, the full view. And if I want to kind of further manipulate this table, I can change my sort orders. So maybe I want to sort, um, you know, the highest dollar amount uh, orders, or maybe I want to sort uh, by particular part numbers. So I can click on it once to sort ascending, click on it again to sort descending. So I'm going to jump over to the next tab here, quote analysis. So this tab focuses on quotes out of Epicor. Uh, it tracks both the number of quotes and the amount on the quote, as well as it ties to sales orders. So you can see which of these quotes actually turned into orders. And um, that's kind of what drives this win percentage calculation. So the win percent quotes is looking at the number of quotes that um, were ordered versus the total number of quotes that were uh, generated. And the win percent dollars looks at the dollar amount of the quotes that were ordered versus the total dollar amount. So it kind of gives you a couple of different frames of reference in terms of your win percentage. Within this chart down here, then you can see how uh, the quotes break down by both production group or sales rep. And you can see how your win percentage is looking compared to your goal. So in this case, the goal is 30%. So you can see of your top production groups, which ones had uh, win percentages that were above your goal the same way with the sales rep. Um, so for example, I can just like on the other tabs, I can click on uh, a particular sales rep and I can see how it updates these charts. So this gives a good example of why it's important to have both of those win percentages. So you can see that this particular rep is winning a fair amount of their quotes, but in terms of the dollars, it's actually below goal. So they might be winning a bunch, but the dollar amounts are low value. So you kind of want to go after those higher value ones. So. Some good analysis there. Again, with this tab, you can see both the trend as well as any of the details down below. The last tab here is this customer map. Uh, so this provides some great location-based analytics. Uh, so what it does is it takes all of the customer addresses and it plots them as a point on the map. And it sizes each point based on the number of sales. So the larger the point, the higher the value of sales for that customer. So really quickly, kind of regionally, you can see who your top customers are. So I can hover over a particular point and I can see who that customer is, what their total sales value is. And then with the uh, the additional values with the legend and the color coding, you can see what territory that they belong to. So a lot of good points of reference within this sales um, map. So that covers the sales review template. If you have any questions or if you'd like to learn more about how we can implement these templates in your environment, you can contact us by email at sales at 2wtech.com or you can give us a call at 262-686-5070. You can also visit the link at the bottom of this screen to test out a live version of one of the templates on our website. Thank you.